this for mon or heaven? It's Vlogmas year 11. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna have this, chug my water, and shower, and then I'll be more presentable to put my face to the screen. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I just got out of the shower and we're having a very exciting day today. I'm very, very stoked for all the activities, so I need to go get dressed and blow dry my bangs and probably braid my hair and, you know, all that kind of stuff. See you guys around. Hey, girl. Hey, this is my outfit of the day. So, um, a lot of pants just don't fit me anymore. I know I talk about this in a lot of the vlogs, but I have these ones from Parade and it's like that red waffle set. It has like a crop top with it. And so I'm just wearing the pants and I have some long johns on underneath them to keep me warm and toasty. I'm wearing like this long john set and then I have just this big sweater over it. I always get a lot of questions whenever I wear this sweater and I know I literally wore it the other day, but this is the brand. Motif, but it was a thrift find. I'm wearing to the no, no, <laughs> no, no. And then on top of this, I'll have on my half day's outer layer, green jacket, a scarf and earmuffs. And I have my gloves in the car as well. But I just have to do a handful of things before we go. Clean my glasses, pack a snack and maps to where we're going. We've never been here before. I feel like a DJ right now with my earmuffs. We can, we can wear. Today, we are going to Bellows Falls. I have my goldfish with me in case I get hungry. And we're gonna go antiquing at Wyndham Antiques, which we were recommended by my aunt who lives in New Hampshire. She said it's like the best antiquing she's done in Vermont. So we're gonna head there because we love antiquing and we both have to shop for more Christmas gifts. After the sun sets, Bellows Falls is having a parade of the lights. So we're gonna go see that. Last year, some of you may remember that during Vlogmas, we tried to go see a Christmas light parade in Leesburg, Virginia. We literally made it as the parade ended. It was tragic. We still had a fun time though, because I think we went to like the Oyster Bar, which is our favorite restaurant. Well, not our favorite of all time, but a good one that we go to whenever we're home in Virginia and they have a couple locations. And we went there the night that we got engaged. So it's nostalgic for us. We grabbed a quick lunch at Allen Bros, which is basically like, we've been here before, I remember, because I remember when we came in fall of, I guess, 2021, we drove by here on our way to Walpole, New Hampshire, but they have like fresh cider and wreaths here, which look super cute, although we don't need a wreath or a tree, but they also have, you know, classic full den deli and stuff like that. Finley got that, whatever that is, filled with meat and grease. Very good. <laughs> and I got a tuna salad wrap on wheat with cheddar, lettuce, and cucumber. We love our Whether book. Do you like it? The safety documents oh, filed with so we've just been hanging out over here listening to our book, looking at the, the reeds in the distance of this kind of marshy area. We're actually not in Bellows Falls where we're at right now. This is Westminster, which is crazy because I looked at houses in Westminster and like this is pretty far. Anyway, we've just been sitting here hanging out, listening to the Song of the Cell, which I just showed you guys, but you should definitely listen to it. If you're interested in a couple of things. We love Siddhartha Mukherjee. I've actually talked about him before. We read his book on cancer called The Emperor of All Maladies, right? That's what mm -hmm. it was called. We loved that book. I thought it was so interesting and I don't listen to a lot of like science-y based books, but he's an amazing author. And then this other book, Song of the Cell, didn't this come out after the cancer book? I think this is his most recent. This is his most, re most recent, right. So this is about like kind of like gene editing and you know just like how cells are formed and stuff but it also talks about yeah, think, um I like the first like cell cell biology yeah cell biology but they do talk about like stuff that's very interesting to me like the first iui and ivf babies they're talking about on this chapter like a medication called what is it thalidomine thalidomine yeah that sounds right <laughs> basically it was just prescribed to a bunch of pregnant women during a certain time frame and like nobody was held responsible for like the, yeah, the clear like, birth defects it that like, it caused a, Aggressive, like it was developed and then like aggressively advertised. Uh, this was mostly in Europe and stuff. And then they were trying to bring it to the U.S., which had lighter regulations generally. Yeah. And then this woman in the FDA was like the fucking wall blocking them. She's like, "This is too good to be true." Looked deeper into yeah. it, found all these like hidden, you know, deaths. They had uh, just downsides. Yeah, like horrible downsides. And yeah. eventually collected enough information, built it all up, and got them to a uh, you know 
stop the drug basically. Yeah. But fascinating story of mm -hmm. casual sexism and reckless pharmaceuticals. Yeah, they basically were, were prescribing this drug to pregnant women because they were hysterical and needed to be sedated. And like, whenever I hear stuff like that, I just laugh and look at Finley and I'm like, you have to laugh because you can't do anything else. You know what I mean? Like, well, you can, you could get really bad about it, but I mean, it already happened. So anyway, we're going to go antiquing now. And um, we've just been having some convos about, you know, things in the book and whatever. Here we are, Bellows Falls. Finley, when we were driving in, he was like, no, we've been here before. But I'm like, no, I think you're thinking of Wilmington because I don't remember any of these buildings or anything like that. Or, you know, just like this general town layout. There's gonna be little Christmas lights down here later in the Wyndham Antique Center we're going to right now. That looks so cute. Ugh, whenever I see this car, I always think of Christian. Miss her. Here we go, Auntie Tina. This born. one's for you. <laughs> I was born for an antique. My father bred me for this. That's actually very true. A lot of cool chairs here. Cool gems. Never see wardrobes. Yeah, the, I, I don't either. And this is my thing is like, this is actually a really great way to store your clothes, you know? It's beautiful, but it's too large for our bedroom. Wow, this place is dissolved. God, I love antiquing. There's nothing quite like it. Very cool. Also love this lamp. Hi, great baby. There's always a few of you. This is a gigantic cocktail thing. Do you remember we went antiquing on the day we got engaged? Finley's found only stuff for himself, not stuff for anybody else. Oops. <laughs> I'm still looking around, searching for some things. <laughs> Fat pigs. The lights are all turning on. Now that the sun's going down, parade's gonna start in like, I don't know, 45 minutes or something? But we're just shopping. Cute. We got hot chocolate and cookies from the Rotary Club over across the street. They're giving everything out for free. They don't care. Let's go down this little alley that has all the lights. Taking my cocoa down to the light up bridge. I even got some, oh, they're totally melted now, but I got some marshmallows put in mine. It's like the LA River, straight concrete. <laughs> LA River never had this much water. <laughs> Look at the walls though. There's another bridge over there. Isn't that interesting? It's like totally a man-made river. Gallery Alley. We've just been walking in the same corner of town all night, but I've been showing it from different angles. Great starting. Can you even believe the police are here? I knew they would finally come for me. Like really lightly when he ran into her. Oh. Ow, ow! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Bringing the hype tonight, I love it.
Happy holidays! Oh, they got a Christmas tree and everything. Yeah, they brought their Christmas tree to go. They're playing like a movie or something. We love you, first responders. What? <laughs> that popcorn. <laughs> they were going so fast, and people were like running trying to get the popcorn, finally <laughs> distributing it. By the time they handed it out, that thing's like a quarter mile away, and they're not like calling us to get back. Longview Forest Contracting. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Christmas! Wow, another tractor. That thing's a beast! Wow. Woo, woo, woo. Do you think if we have a son, they're gonna be obsessed with trucks? Like, I lot? was when I was a kid. Yeah. I lost the interest, but I was when I was a kid. That's a sick vehicle, though. Wow, look at all that exhaust. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Oh wait, That's how I get think it's for effect. Yeah, they have some kind of steam. It's not just exhaust. They're like Woo! doing some kind of fun little thing. Oh wow. Oh my god, that is so cute. The station wagon with the Christmas Woo! tree, that is so cute. Sorry if I'm not getting a close up enough angle for you guys. I'm enjoying my pregnant sitting spot in the back of our car. We got a really ideal parking spot. Maybe I'll get up close. Oh my god, there's a elf legs tacked to the front of this vehicle. You wanna look at this one closer? Yeah. All the gravel trucks are coming. Woo! Stop on my house after. Yeah, we need a little gravel fill. Get 
yeah. here on all of your like, It's all the things I've made. Yeah. Life, it's not like, let's give it up for Macy's. <laughs> it's like, let's give it up for literally your yeah. propane <laughs> supplier and the guy who cleans your toilet. would be the adjective I'd use. And it even ended only, it only took about 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's head home. Love you, Santa. Woo, Santa. My husband bought a tractor for Christmas. Did you guys love the parade as much as we did? We were fucking hype. Did you love it, baby? That was awesome. Loved seeing all the tractors. Hell yeah. There were some great vehicles out there that I would love to have in my arsenal. Yeah. We accidentally took a wrong turn when the main street cleared up for the parade and everybody started like heading out of town. Well, we were just following our GPS and then we ended up right on Atkins Street or Atkinson Street where um, everybody had continued the parade. The parade had looped around too. And so then we were like, up oh. Back in the front of the parade. Yeah, we probably showed up like halfway through it though. But it actually ended up being good because I got to scream to Santa that Finley wants a tractor for Christmas. And you gotta get those wishes in early, you know? It's what, the ninth? He has to know now so then he can That's get the tractor true. to you. He's gonna get his elves to build me one. Yeah, <laughs> but we had a really great time. Bellas Falls was very cute. Really had a wonderful day there. And Ugh, gorgeous, lovely town, lovely people. They had the best honey ham cheese whatever the heck it was delicious and honey ham cheese croissant good people good place yeah good parades good parade yeah i do wish there was more candy being thrown out mm. though mm. that was the one critique mm. they could have done better on maybe next year what a time <laughs> what, what a day what a day but now we have to get home to our dogs because we really missed them. We should have brought them. We didn't realize that we would have been watching the parade with our car there, which was really convenient because yeah, we had actually, like- I never would have expected that. Yeah, we got there really early and we like parked and shopped and then we just kept the same parking spot for the whole parade. In my head, I was like, the parade's gonna be crazy and there's gonna be so many people snomping around, but really we were just chilling in the back yeah, of our car. Like even if we were standing and they could have come. Yeah, <laughs> they really do like cuddling. So we're gonna get home to cuddle them. Back at my Christmas house with my Christmas dogs, my Christmas dogs. Rue, did you have such a fun time eating a little fish skin while we were gone? That's so fun. Time for the advent calendar. Oh, yes. This shirt is a joke shirt, by the way. <laughs> I got it off of Etsy because of those like insane shirts, the like Thanksgiving ones. I can't even repeat the other shirts that I've seen. They're insane. This one was actually a little bit more tame. I only wear it around the privacy of my own home. Okay, bon appetit. I don't have my glasses on, can you see me? Oh God. Yesterday I had... Oh God, the floor's not even. 
I just traveled eight feet from the desk just by sitting. Okay, that's a problem. How do I? Oh, there's a tripod right here. I could come in handy. How about this for an action shot, huh? Oh, shit, it's gonna be a good one. Woo, full booster pack, baby. Uh, get the hell out of my side. No, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Get open. Trash pile. Okay, Poke Gear 3.0. Well, yeah, not stoked. Floette, this one's cool because right now there is a little special thing in Scarlet and Violet where there's more of these shiny things in those little clusters they come up in. So I actually caught three shinies. Here's a here's a pommy, that's cool. Small olive, that's cool. You know, a little motherfucking olive. The Greeks love that one. If you're Greece, uh, tell me how you feel. Cacturn, yeah. Oh, that's a spooky boy. That's a cool picture too. I like that. All right. I like. I like that. Mesagoza, possibly the most boring, worst city I've ever been to in a video game. Heracross, an OG from second gen, best gen, because it was my gen. NDD, oh my god, and you can even see the holographic nature of this card. Adorable. I know you like that. Come on, that lighting's pretty fucking good. That's a nice card right there. That's a Oh, oh, damn. They are fucking hitting hard. Oh my God, LeChonk. Are you kidding me? So I'll tell you what, the second shiny I caught in my first playthrough was the evolved version of this. My big fat pink oinker. It was awesome. Wow, great card. I'll leave both of the, oh my God, are you kidding me? What is this booster pack? Is this real life? No, I know what it is. My life is a fucking movie. Holy shit. Look what I just got. Where'd that other one go? And a fucking water energy? Are you kidding me? I'm just having a little ice cream Sammy in editing the vlog now. A relaxing evening. Larry's tucked in under there. Just listen to the sizzle of that mac and cheese, brother. I decided to have a midnight snack of mac and cheese. I was just feeling crazy. Wow, time to hit the hay. I feel like one of those people who only uses red light bulbs. Anyway, what a day. What an amazing day. It was electric. Finley's asleep next to me, or trying to be, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But um, I'm gonna edit by the light of my Christmas tree and just hit the hay after that. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching Complete the Heart. You can support me on Patreon if you so please, and I will just see you in the morning. Stay smiling. Bye, y'all.